What's good, y'all boys? Welcome to Road to Masters with Finn. Now, I didn't really know if I wanted to do a Road to Masters with this character for one reason and one reason alone, and that is ranked mode is kind of frustrating right now. And I'm not going to sit here and complain like I have been the past few videos, but the best of three system is just not a lot of fun for me personally. That is why I feel like a lot of people are leaning towards public lobbies. I think this is very clear when you look at the matchmaking time in ranked compared to before it was best of three. And, but uh, the only reason I am deciding to play ranked is because of the stage selection. I feel like the stages are just so much better in unranked. So yeah. Anyways, I have a new Finn combo. Last time you probably saw me trying to do some zero to death. It was looking funky, man. Nothing was really happening. No way he's letting me get it again. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully this guy does better next game, huh? But yeah, that was the combo. And if I am a little closer there, I can actually get something very significant. Barely going to make it out of that. Also, near the ledge, I can also potentially do a dodge into a forward air, down air for a little cheeky spike. Getting that. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. I thought that was looking like money, dude. I thought we were about to do it again to him. And there we go. Nice little 3-0 to begin, but let's see how we do in the rematch. This guy is, luckily for him, going to be given another chance here. So let's see if we can catch him with two down airs again. This is a beautiful map for me, man. I'm so used to the Morty maps being bad. Like, I'm so used to this being a bad matchup map for me, if that makes sense. But with Finn, it's so small. Like, this is gonna, this is gonna help me out big time, man. I don't know how the little podiums on the left and right are going to affect me, though. I guess we'll see about that. But, yeah, I mean, look at the horizontal length. I could have gotten a kill there, I believe, if I did a forward air instinctively. You know, with due time, we will get more fin practice. That should have been a side special. Maybe? Nope. Oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> Bro, I thought I was going with him. That was scary, man. Let's see if we can catch him with a forward air or a forward tilt. Maybe? Nope. Yeah, so right there, I guess if I'm far away like that when I engage in that, I have to do a side special. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yep, maybe we do catch him with a few more of these. <laughs> maybe we do catch him with two. Alright, let's go ahead and grab BMO for one reason. And that is going to be... Not that. This. There we go. Look at that damage, dude. 28 is so ridiculous. And there we go. GG's, man. Wow, we are doing big things today. That is what's cool about Finn is if, you, uh, if you're doing good against someone, you're doing really good against them. It's not like you're still going to lose a stock or two. If you're doing good, it's going to be a problem. But back in my day, this was definitely a bad matchup for Finn. However, now I think we're winning this matchup because he can't really punish my side special thanks to the fact that his mud wall is going to be whiffing all game you know i know he hit one there but it happens it happens we're not allowing no more of these i can't believe i'm getting caught with those down airs though just like such a bad move his stun gun should be recharging soon and i just let that happen wow i'm a rookie for that man oh. <sighs> side special there nice Oh my gosh, I almost got the treatment, man. As long as he doesn't hit a stun gun here, be good. Trying to wait for that stun gun to recharge. But now that I know he has it, it's going to be a bad day for him, man. Oh man, no it's not. Oh, just barely escaped. Nice. <clears throat> so close, so close. Nice, nice. Way though. There go. Nice little dash attack. Get all my coins back. Let's go ahead and buy armored buns here. And now he actually can't. Whoa, he can hit me with the grenades, but only if it's on his way down. Yeah, that's uh, some iron giant tech right there. You whack a grenade at someone, they actually do not count it as a projectile. So, my mistake on that. I swear it was going the other way until I like got some funky animation. 
I just barely caught him. Activate that grenade. Doesn't matter to me. And just ridiculous whiff punishment. And <clears throat> get up out of here. There we go. Now one more. I expect him to do stun gun as he comes down. Oh, what was that? That was not good. Mud wall, maybe? Oh. If he keeps trying to do a mud wall in neutral, he's really relying on that forward tilt. I should probably show him why he shouldn't. Do that in round two. Okay. Bam. Oh, because we're in the air, he's not going to be able to get a combo off that. Nice. Up there. Hi there. I ain't gonna do much. One more. One more hit. Oh. Got two stocks. It's not getting patient. And there we go. All right, here we go. Does he start off with a mud wall? I doubt it. Wow, that was a great way to start a match. The roll behind, man. And. <laughs> very, very early elimination. Is he giving up? That's the problem with those best of threes, man. Sometimes you reach this part of the match and you've just had enough. You just are ready to get up out of there, play someone else. I respect it, dude, fully. All right, we are playing LeBron James. This is an interesting one right here because I think what we can do is just spam our side special all game, especially if he starts off with a ball throw. He does not. The number one thing that was bothering me about LeBron was those touch of death combos. It's weird because you have to DI into them, which is like, that's probably like the only combo in the game that's like that. But now LeBron does not have those anymore. So just an average character. Nothing, nothing really to worry about. Man. I just barely missed that. They're worth getting armored buns. I feel like I can kind of see all of LeBron's projectiles already. I got a lot of coins. Is that his life? No, it is not. Great way to get that ball back. Trying to do it on the ground there, but I was uh just touching the ground. Dang, I am using my air dodge a lot. This guy's got me on the ropes. Wow, 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 wow. It really looked like I was gonna be able to DI back there. I was not. Great use of that. I locked onto the ball instead of him. <clears throat> Barely, man. That was not a good purchase, dude. <laughs> that was probably the last thing I should have done there. I should have just kept my coins for something like that. Guess it wouldn't have hit anyway, huh? Maybe that kills if I get a... Nope. That's going to kill for sure. Okay. I'm trying to crouch to get my dodge back like I'm using Morty, man. Great play. Nice. Nice, dude. Nice. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I almost thought he lived there. I mean, it would have made sense because I had no coins, but definitely wouldn't have been optimal, man. Would it? I'm gonna lose some coins. Never in my life. Y'all let me know if y'all have gotten hit by that. Never have I gotten hit by that chalk move ever. I've probably seen it come out at least like, I don't even know, man. Probably 20 times. No, not 21. I just feel like it's so bad. And I don't even think you get that much off of it if you do hit it. I think it's just like normal move. Not what I should have done there. Probably should have done my actual combo. Really thought that ball was going to hit me. Oh. Kind of a nasty kill move, dude. I caught him. Maybe? Nope. Yeah, this is the one problem with Finn. If you can't rely on those touch of deaths, it is going to be a long game for you, man. At 153, he is going to survive. But there we go. Now, let's see. I feel like on this map, he's going to throw the ball off start. No, he is not. This guy is not very predictable, man. Surprise that wins. Messed up the IAD. <laughs> gotta, gotta get those combos down, dude. I'm messing up. Don't have a ball. Nice. Mm -mm. Okay, if I can get Bemo, it might be a good decision. That would have killed too. Hope we ain't doing that. 
not good. Give me the BMO. And that's going to be his life. There we go. Almost worth buying the BMO. I think he does eat projectiles as well. So we can definitely do stuff like, okay, maybe after you use BMO a little bit, he doesn't. Well, it's based off your coins, actually. Yeah, I do know that. The more coins you have, the more powerful BMO is going to be. And the quicker, probably. So I probably have to have like a thousand coins to actually hit that jab string. We got like a lot of coins right now, dude. We can. Oh my gosh, what a move. We're going to potentially be able to pull off a touch of death here if we cannot die because of the amount of coins we have in the satchel. All I have to do is hit an up special up there. That might not have killed anyway. Nice. Come on, man. What are we talking about? A little BMO recovery move. Let's see if we can get the three stock. Oh, no, we cannot. <laughs> no, we cannot. That's a great kill confirmed, dude. Hit me into that ball, man. Nice. Let's put in some pain before we die. Bro, I am getting caught with those. Because I'm just literally rushing in there. No thoughts in my mind. As long as we can get him to a reasonable percentage. Almost, dude. Yeah, but that's just a big mistake. Side, though. We can still win this. We got the upper hand, man. This guy is getting some momentum on his side, though. And he's definitely hitting me with that so many times. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. I don't have dodge. No, 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 no. Wow, wow. What a comeback. Nice. Oh, bad decision, dude. I meant to do a backpack. I actually did. How many coins I got? 1,100? That might be his life. Nope, not quite. Go. Oh, under the ball. Under the ball. We're running under that, man. We ain't scared of that. Just commit to the dash attack. He never saw it coming. He probably thought he was about to get the hit, about to get his ball back. Everything was about to be great. We are playing a Shaggy. Morty does not have a tool to deal with this guy's sandwich strings. Can he charge that? Wow, he can charge that and not even think. Oh my gosh, that was almost my life. We are bullying him near this ledge. No, no. No, dude, what a mistake. Honestly, that string might just kill me if he did the up air instead of whatever that was. Out of air dodge, it's a big snake. Timing. Nice attack. Bounce off the wall. Nope. No. no, no. We're gonna be all right. This is just, oh man, you hate to be down against Shaggy. There is not a big enough window to punish that. The armor is like, I'm not seeing it coming today. Barely got out of that too. Go, just barely. All right, now as long as we don't let him get that right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what are you doing, man? Don't charge up. I got an armor breaker. What are we doing? Uh, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. No, I'm not alive. I run out of air dodge you. I get the power up there. Can't do nothing about that. What we can do. Something here. You're working on me. You're working on me? Come on, night night. Come on, man. What are we doing? Right, he's gonna charge up, isn't he? Nope, he is not. He knows better. Nice. Nope, not nice. So what I am learning is if you can partially charge your side special or your up special, if you can get it about uh, two or one third, you'll be more likely to get the follow up with the neutral air. But if you just go like just instantly do it like that, you're not actually going to be able to get that neutral air most of the time. Pretty interesting, man. And why does he keep bouncing off like that? That's weird. Get the BMO. And the BMO is not going to kill early, especially with that little guard on the side. Bro, what is going on with that? Why does he keep bouncing? 
Like. Okay. That oh, wait. Earlier, I said that the Bimo is based off of the, the coins. That is not true. He is based off of the slap meter you gain by running around. So, yeah, like right there, that kills because of the meter under my shield bar. Great parry. No, that was completely on purpose. Okay, I thought he was going to go for another parry, dude. Got gaslighted. Worth it. That was so worth it. Even if I died, I was going out sad there. Okay. Honestly, I mean, I'm more than willing to let him get that meter there. It doesn't really affect me, especially... Literally, most moves that he does right now are going to kill me anyway. This could maybe kill. Okay, no. I'm delusional. There we go. That's killing, though. I was thinking that would maybe kill because I had so many coins. I had, like, 1,500 coins, even though he wasn't really at a ridiculous health. I meant to not do that, obviously. Great parry. Honestly, ooh. I think he could have killed me when he got that parry if he did an up special. Dude, this guy is just a parry monster. And then, like, the one time I try to, or when I try to bait out the parry, he doesn't do it. There we go. He is out of dodge meter all of a sudden, dude. So this is just going to be rips. <laughs> it's just over, dude. That's the last character you want to run out of dodge meter against. GG's, man. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to join the Verifam. Like if you enjoyed. And comment whether you would rather see me play Finn or Morty.